First I want to explain what is intentional play. It's essentially the idea that um, play can facilitate <laughs> spiritual growth and uh, personal growth and each thing you do subtly influences your subconscious um, and can accelerate the path to success whatever that means to you. So um, my example today of intentional play is uh, the power of ro rollerblading. So rollerblading is really powerful for a number of reasons. One, um, if you are afraid of uh, taking risks or making mistakes, falling on your ass, then I highly recommend rollerblading. <laughs> um, it'll make you um, a lot more fearless or courageous, I would say is a better word. And um, also, if you want more energy, I would highly recommend rollerblading because rollerblading stimulates um, the energy meridians of your gallbladder, which is located on the sides of your torso. And because you're pushing outwards, almost just busted my ass there. And um, doing this really helps you to release energy that is stored because your gallbladder kind of stores repressed anger. Um, there's a connection between your gallbladder and your liver. And a lot of people who have chronic fatigue um, or things like that can benefit from this. Also, you're learning to be more fluid in your life. <laughs> and um, you're learning to adapt more quickly since when you rollerblade, usually you're on terrain that's always changing. Um, so it's forcing you to get better at adapting. So, so if you feel like um, being afraid of making mistakes is holding you back in life, or being afraid of taking risks, or having low energy, then rollerblading is one um, intentional play practice um, you can take part in. And the beauty of intentional play is it doesn't feel like work. It's not like going to the gym where often people hate it, but they do it anyway because they want to get in shape. It's doing something that you enjoy doing um, while growing yourself at the same time. So maybe you're already doing something that is that you could consider intentional play and you just didn't think about it before. Uh, but think about what qualities you want to grow within yourself and uh, what aspects of play might help grow that. And stay tuned for the next one. Uh, the next video I'm gonna talk about is um, using a slack line to build focus and other qualities. Slack line is kind of like a tightrope and it's really fun. So I'll see you in the next video.